Hello everyone, this is Matt Miller, Dean of Online Instruction, and today I wanted to take just a few moments uh, to talk about a subject that actually I get quite frequently, a topic I get quite frequently, and that is, you know, Matt, how can I directly submit a student's paper that I suspect of plagiarism uh, using the new VeriSite tool? Well, unfortunately, uh, unlike Blackboard, where we had SafeAssign, SafeAssign had a tool called Direct Submit, which allowed faculty members to take a, a work that they suspected uh, might have been plagiarized and directly submit it to get the report. Unfortunately, Verisite doesn't have a direct submit feature for faculty. So, however, there is a workaround. And so I wanted to show you today how to use that workaround, how you could take papers that students have given you or submitted to you uh, and then directly submit them to Verisite to check for plagiarism. So uh, to get started, uh, first of all, what you're going to want to do is either go into one of your sandbox courses. So I'm out here on my dashboard. Let me just go back to that real quick. And if you have a, a, a dashboard, excuse me, a sandbox course already created, you can certainly use that or you can uh, create your own and you recall uh, in, from my training how you create your own sandbox courses and professors can do this as many times as they want to create little sandbox courses. You go to the courses menu on the left hand side and then go down to all courses and then from there in the upper right hand corner you'll see that you can click create or plus course. Uh, simply give it a name and click create course and you have yourself a sandbox. There's nothing more you need to do other than just give it a name and create the course. Of course you're the only person that'll be in there uh, but that's okay because it does allow you to create master courses, to create, uh, to play around in Canvas without messing up your live courses. There's a lot of stuff you can do with a sandbox course if you will. Uh, so at any rate, uh, how can I use that then uh, to check for students work? Well let's go into one of my little sandbox courses here. This is just one I use for training. Uh, so this kind of looks rough, but there you are. Um, and then what I want to do is is actually create an assignment uh, for something that can be uploaded. So I go out here to assignments and from here I can just create assignments. All right. So any old assignment will do. Uh, just call it, uh, you know, test assignment or oops, not here. Up here at the top. There we go. Sorry test assignment. Es essentially all I'm doing is just creating a means by which uh, through which I can upload a paper. Okay so um, you don't even have to really worry about uh, you know how many points it's worth or anything like that. All I'm really interested in is checking this for plagiarism. So under submission type it must be online and you can choose file upload and then of course you're going to need to remember to enable VeriSite submissions. That, that's what makes it uh, uh, submissible. Folks, you can then, if you recall from when you create VeriSite submissions, it, you can choose when the originality report is going to be visible to the students. Uh, you can also choose to exclude quoted material or self-plagiarism, uh, but you always want to make sure that store submissions and institutional index is there. That is, uh, that will be uh, helpful for us as we move forward and being able to determine all papers that have been submitted at Navarro College. So that would be our institutional index at Navarro College would be a collection of all the papers that have been submitted that we can check against for plagiarism in later semesters. Um, the quoted material and the self-plagiarism is completely up to you. Uh, self-plagiarism basically means a student has repurposed an essay or a paper that they had written previously for another class perhaps uh, and repurposed it for your class. The quoted material is interesting uh, because uh, students are able to um, uh, use quotes from from you know famous people or whatever and it would actually exclude that from plagiarism but just a little caution for you and one of the reasons I don't like to exclude quoted material is because a student could and I've actually seen or heard this done before uh, using a similar product students actually would put a quotation mark at the beginning of their essay and one at the end and then make them white so very clever but essentially they're making their entire essay uh, a quote. So <laughs> you might want to you might want to exclude quoted material. It's just a, they're they're very very clever sometimes uh, trying to work around some of the pl plagiarism tools that we have. Uh, so again, don't uh, don't select that and then update your settings. Now, once you've done that, you can just go ahead and save and publish 
remember, this is just a sandbox course. It's just something we're using here uh, for the purpose of being able to uh, test a paper that has been submitted to us. Okay, so let's just go out here now real quick and, and, and show you what you do next. Once you have the assignment created, you can go over here and go to student view. Okay, student view allows you to uh, look at your course the way a student would see it, but it also allows you to behave as a student and act as a student. It will actually put a student uh, pre a preview student in your grade book once you've started using student view. And this, this is where we're going to be able to get our safe assign, or excuse me, our Verisite report once we're done. So now that I'm in student view, I can go out to assignments there. And then I can find that that uh, test assignment that I made, click on it, and it's going to allow me to submit the assignment as a student. So I'm going to go out here and click Submit Assignment. I'm going to go down here and choose a file. Go up to my desktop. I should have a Canvas sample files folder there. And there is a 100% plagiarized Great Gatsby paper you may remember from my Verisite video that we did not long ago. So I'm going to select that, pretending that this is the paper that the student had sent to me that I want to check. And then I can simply submit the assignment. Oh, I do have to agree. Students do have to agree to the academic uh, integrity policy uh, that they've read it before they submit the paper. Okay, very good. So now that this paper is submitted, I can I can simply uh, get out of student view. So leave student view. And I can go to grades. And there under the test student, which was created whenever I moved over to that, there now is the paper submitted there. Okay. Now remember with Verisite, it can take a little bit of time. Uh, so you can go uh, out there to it. It may, it may take a few moments. Uh, for you to be able to see it. So if I go to speed grader uh, here in just a little bit, uh, it will give me over here on the right hand side, uh, it will give me the uh, safe assign uh, report uh, as well as sort of the percentage that thinks is plagiarized. Uh, to save you some time, let me go back to the grade book. And you can see that I've actually submitted this very paper uh, as a test student uh, in my training. So just to give you again, the look there, that red flag means that, well, it's a red flag. It means that it's a high in plagiarism uh, or at least suspected plagiarism. If I click on this then, uh, and then I can click on it, it says 100% uh, is what it thinks is plagiarized. I can click on that and it will actually take me to the Verisite report. So here's the paper on the left uh, and then on the right hand side, it will give me all of the suspected sources. Uh, and so there's my Verisite report. Um, I can uh, simply uh, print this off, I can download it, uh, all of this stuff as well, and then have the report. So just to recap, uh, what you'll do is, is in one of your sandbox courses, you'll simply create an assignment. Uh, you will actually go into that assignment in the student view uh, of, your, of your course. So in, click on the student view and then go in, and then you could submit that student's paper uh, to that assignment once you've enabled Verisite and all. Um, and then and then there's your report. Your report will come back uh, to you and you'll be able to see it. So you can submit it for uh, multiple students. Um, you may have to create multiple assignments, but again, the whole purpose then is to actually create, um, create an assignment that you can check for plagiarism. So that is a roundabout way of how to directly submit student work that you suspect may be plagiarized. I hope that this has been helpful to you. Again, if you have any questions uh, or comments, just let me know, and I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you.